Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of Laravel 11 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB and in this video we are going to create the admin panel login page okay so in the last video we have seen that we able to create the dashboard page here you can see that we able to create this dashboard page and now we are going to create the admin login page as well okay uh, so the instructions are given in the video description you can follow the video description you can follow the video along with the video description as well okay in which i have given you the complete instruction if in case uh, if anything is not clear then you can check in the video description as well and also you can comment me in video description if something is not clear to you okay so first of all we are going to create uh, the route uh, in web.php file like we have created the dashboard route now and the another route we are going to create and that is for the uh, login okay so uh, here i'm going to add here the login and function also we are going to add the login function in admin controller so let's straight away add the login function here the same like we have created for dashboard now we are going to create for the login as well and here we will simply add the login here as well so i'm going to create the login blade file as well same like we have created the dashboard blade file in the last video and same i will just file save as uh, but here see i will do the file save as but we will not use this content because uh, the login blade file content is the different one uh, that uh, we are going to copy from our template our admin template okay so here i have saved it as login.blade.php file but the content we are required to copy uh, from the template that we have downloaded here we will go here and in uh, i think it is located inside pages then examples uh, then we are going to see here uh, there are two files login and login version 2 we can check both here login as well as the login v2 i think it is better if you will uh, see use this one login v2 here you can see the comparison it looks better so i am going to uh, just uh, drag it here and we are going to copy this complete and we'll uh, paste it here i'm going to remove this earlier content that we have copied from dashboard and we'll paste it this here okay so here we are going to use the complete content because the admin header footer will not come here here you can see it's the blank page no header footer so here uh, we are going to use the actual header footer actual content we are going to use uh, here okay and we are required to correct its path uh, so the uh, best way is to open that layout dot blade dot php file admin layout blade dot php file and uh, we can just simply copy the path from here or we can uh, do of our own here i will just copy from here so that it will save our time okay i am going to do for all here okay uh so i'm going to do for these three uh, like this and we'll add it here and uh, plugins folder is, uh, is located inside admin fine admin fine and here this one is not fine and here we are going to add it like this at the end uh, here also uh, i'm going to add it here okay and here also and let's come back here and uh here also we are going to do that same thing uh, so okay sorry uh, but first of all it will save our time i'm going to wait like this and then i can copy from here this one uh, and we'll paste it there okay and this one is not there and uh, now we can check that the login page is opening or not like the dashboard page uh, we will check here the login page yes it is opening now see the same login page uh, that is opening this one we are using so the same login page now is opening in the uh, in our laravel okay uh, and we can remove the unwanted things here sign in uh, this one is not required for the admin login this is the part of the user login but not required in the admin login so we can remove the unwanted content okay and this one i forgot my password is also not required register a new membership is also not required so just 
we are going to do it like this and we we'll save and here we are going to refresh and you can see now it's fine admin lte login and password see it is automatically from our last project uh, from the cookies uh, but we can move here you can see email as well as password we will work on remember me functionality as well so we will keep it as well and now this is the admin login page okay so few simple steps that we have taken uh, we have created the route first of all and after that we have created its function after that we have created that login.blade.php file and then we have copied the content login html uh, into this file and then we have corrected the path and our that admin login page is ready okay so uh, we will continue and we'll start working we will uh, start working on this we will create that admin guard and uh, we'll uh, we'll log in uh, with the email as well as the password so that functionality uh, there is some kind of setting that we are going to do for the admin guard so that all thing we are going to do in the next video so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye